Okay, so thank you, John, and uh, thanks everyone for uh, coming to the world. And welcome to this presentation on what's coming soon to Zio Prelude. So my name is Jorge Vasquez, I'm a Scala developer at Scalac. And well, what is Zio Prelude? It's a Scala first take on functional abstractions. It offers you type classes to eliminate duplication and boilerplate, data types that complement the Scala standard library, like non-empty list or Zipure and new types and subtypes. And now there's a problem I want to focus on today, and it's about precise data modeling in our applications. So a problem we normally have is representing everything with simple types. For example, here I have this person class with three fields, name, email, and address, all of them represented with just strings. This can give us uh, several problems. For example, we can end up storing invalid data in databases, we can have applications drawing exceptions. So there must be a better way of uh, doing data modeling, right? So there is better a better way. For example, we can use uh, wrapper classes with smart constructors instead of just using plain strings. So for example, here I'm defining three uh, case classes, name, email, and address. Each of them have smart constructors that validate input data and return either, either an error or a valid value. And with that, we can create a valid persons. So yes, we have a no more invalid data, but now we have wrapping and unwrapping overhead because we are using case classes. And also we have other type of issues. For example, here, I'm trying to create a person that we know it's valid because it's, it has valid data. But sadly, the compiler doesn't know about that. So the only way of building a person is uh, writing this complicated for comprehension that returns an either, even uh, if we know that uh, the data is valid. And something similar when we try to create uh, invalid data, this instead of drawing an error, uh, will create an either as well. And we need to write this complicated for comprehension. Uh, a better solution, well, that will uh, overcome the problem with wrapping and unwrapping uh, because of case classes in Scala 3 is using opaque types. We can use opaque types with smart constructors for uh, building these valid persons. But uh, so we have no more overhead, but we have the same problems we had uh, with smart constructors before. So we need to build these complicated for comprehensions, even if we know that data is valid or invalid at compile time. So it is what it is, right? So you have to choose your poison. You have to choose your app exploding or having loads of overhead in your application to doing validations. So wouldn't it be dreamy if we could have more precise data modeling without unnecessary overhead? And this is where Zio Prelude with refinement types enters. And these refinement types are powered by Scala 3 macros. This is a new feature that will be included soon in Zio Prelude. And the idea is that this will allow us to define refinement types with composable assertions that specify what is a valid type. For example, here I have a name type. I'm, I'm saying it must not be empty. I have this email type that's a little more complicated. Uh, we have here a regex-like assertion. And we also have this address type that I'm also specifying that it's not empty. So after having created these refinement types, we have a smarter constructors for free. What does that mean? For example, here I'm trying to create a valid person. And in this case, in this case you can see these uh, constructors are not returning either. They are just returning name, email, and address because now the compiler is able to know at compile time that the data is valid. So we can create persons just in a very straightforward fashion without doing any for comprehensions. Similarly, if we have invalid data, we're going to get compilation errors immediately. We don't need to do for comprehensions anymore. And uh, in the case that uh, Scala can determine the value at compile time, in that case, the smart constructor will return either 
as before. Uh, other great thing about these uh, refinement types is that we have no wrapping and wrapping. So for example, here we have a natural type, an H type. And if I try to pass those to a function that expects integers, I can just do that without any conversion, boxing, unboxing, it just will work. So in summary, we need more precise data modeling for our applications. We can use case classes with smart constructors. This imposes additional runtime overhead. Using opaque types in Scala 3 removes some of the overhead, but not all of it. So CO prelude refinement types will provide a solution to these problems. We have smarter constructors with composable assertions that work at compile time and at runtime. No additional overhead because of wrapping and unwrapping. And all of this thanks to the power of Scala 3 macros. No weird stuff, just a standard Scala. So that's it for today. Thank you. And feel free to contact me on Twitter, LinkedIn, or by email. Thank you.